Well, I am in the shop and I haven't been in the shop for like a month. Ah, so I was excited to come up here and get working on some intarsia. But then I got to thinking about something else I wanted to do and husband has told me I need to purge. So I am trying to use up things that I have um, because I can't buy any more until I get rid of them. Meaning getting stuff at garage sales and you know, if I find something I like, he's like, oh, go ahead. But anyway, the whole idea is to purge and use up what I have uh, before I build it more. So one thing we have are a whole bunch of juniper logs that we cut down, that were cut down when we were doing some stuff here in the, in the uh, yard or whatever you want to call it, our acreage. And so we have this big old stack of logs and he's like, what are you going to do with those logs? You know, and in my mind, I was going to make signs and do all these things with these logs. Now I'm thinking that I want to clear a wall and I want to make a wall of wood. And then I'm going to put my scythe on that piece of, on that wall of wood. And then when I finish like an intarsia, I can put it up there for my outro part of the video. What do you think? So this wall has a lot of stuff and that wall had a lot of stuff too, but I cleared it off today. Woo, look at that. And actually what I did is I moved everything that was on this wall, I moved over there. So I guess we can go take a look at it. So I moved all of my magnetic things that I have my tools on and all my rubber bits and stuff and moved it over here. Yay! And now the wall over there is all nice and ready for some wood. Ah! That's the plan. Anyway! Yeah, yes. So out back here is our pile of logs. So we've actually taken some of the logs out already and gotten rid of them and um, I decided I wanted to film this so I'm coming out to show you what we did exactly. So see that? Oh, just look at that and go, wow, I love it. I love it. And that one's all stuck there, like the dirt is over it. That's funny. Anyway, yay! I'm happy to be using up these logs. What do you think, Wally? What do you think? So woohoo! So we picked out a few logs and cut them up on the big bandsaw. First, we sliced off one side, kind of guesstimating. Then we laid that flat surface down to slice off another side, making two flat sides 90 degrees to each other roughly. Then we adjusted the table so we could now slice one inch pieces. And Hub used this last piece and took off some of the bark on the other side just so he could use it to make a tea light candle holder. Then I used a piece of plywood we had and I set the width on the table saw. And I used it for a straight edge for the boards. I screwed the pieces to the board with one edge hanging over just enough so when I ran it through the table saw it would make a nice straight edge. And I did this for all of the boards that were cut from the log. I didn't mind putting screws through these because I'm going to end up screwing them to the wall anyway. Once I had all of those with a straight edge on one side, then I straightened the other side. I measured the narrowest part of the board, set the width, and then ran it through the table saw. I had to put things on hold while husband brought the truck into the shop, so I held on to Wally. Rats seem to like the wiring in the truck, so in the shop it goes for the night. We caught quite a few rats over the summer, but I'm sure there will be plenty more. So for now, this is our solution to keep the truck wiring free from hungry rats. Once I had all the boards with straight edges, then I sanded one side of them. I did try to use the planer, but because the milling process with the bandsaw was pretty rough, the boards weren't flat enough to run through the planer. So I used the orbital to just make one side smooth. We did three logs, and so this is all of the wood from the logs, and they're all different thicknesses and lengths and stuff. And I think that's gonna be okay. I hope. So I'm excited to start putting them on the wall. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Yay, I'm getting ready to put the juniper boards up on the wall. Woo! I hope it looks cool. 
But first I needed to move the husky bench so I could get to the wall easier. On the bench are some unfinished intarsias and a little box of leftover antlers from the antler chandelier I made. I'd like to make another one, but I don't have enough antlers to do it yet. Then I needed to straighten the edges of the boards and I did that on the chop saw. And I set them in groups according to their widths. The first board I put up has a live edge on the top. I thought that would look pretty cool. Then I started adding more boards, making sure the boards were the same width for one line. Then I also offset where the boards met, so the seam or whatever you want to call it wasn't at the same spot for each line. Even though the boards have some twist in them, I was able to flatten them out pretty well when screwing them to the wall. A few of them needed more screws in more places than some others, but I was able to make them flat enough for what I was wanting to use the wall for. And for the last board, I used another one that has a live edge and I faced it towards the bottom. Yay! Okay, I think it's done. I think it's done. Then I moved my bench back into place. There it is. Cool. Oh yes, and I wanted to put my sigh up there. So let's see, let me see. So I moved the bench back out again and attached the big C clamp and then the other tool that looks like a Y. There. Yay! <laughs> okay, now let's move that back. Now let's move it back. Cool! Oh, I'm excited about it! Yeah! I think it looks great! Well, here it is! Yay! I'm so excited about it! Woo! And it's just up here just to be a display board for my intarsias or any other project and stuff when I do my outro like now. Ah! Which I'm not very good at doing those, but you've probably noticed that if you've watched me. And the board's thickness is a little bit different between each board, but not that much. Uh, if I could have run it through the planer, um, then I could have made them all the same thickness and it would have been so much better, I guess. But for this, it's perfect the way it is. If I wanted it for the house, I definitely would want to run it through the planer and make them all the same thickness. But with the twists and all that were in the boards, um, just putting these screws in, I was able to make it nice and flat, like I said before. So yay, I'm happy about that. I put a screw in here. And I thought, even though I don't have an intarsia done, I do have this project that I routered out a long time ago. And I thought we would just put it on there and see how that looks. Ah! Yay! Awesome! Thank you so much for following along with me today while I made this juniper wall. And it was a lot of fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!